Hi, welcome back. Our next tutorial is to have a look at the questionnaires and how you can score those and generally manage them. Um, so just looking at our current event, our widgets again, we've got our participants, there they all are. Uh, and we can see a number of them have actually submitted questionnaire responses, which is excellent. So as a host, I know I can now go in and do something with those. Um, so we had two questionnaires, if you recall. We've got a pre-qualification questionnaire, which is the one that participants must fill in before they can have access to any other information in the event. Um, and we can see these three guys have all filled it in. Um, so do you accept our terms? They've all said yes. And therefore their answers have been accepted uh, since we automatically said that answer yes would be approved. Uh, if anyone had answered no, then they would be uh, declined access from this event. Um, I may wish, uh, if, if uh, I see fit, to overrule some of these. So if I see that um, although someone has said that they have a particular required qualification um, document or, or certification and that my research suggests that they do not have that, then I can decline their answers um, and I can overrule. Uh, alternatively, I can allow them to resubmit if they uh, want to have another go. Um, we also have our request for information and this one is uh, also quite important since our uh, non-price assessment of these suppliers shall be based on their responses to this RFI. Um, so we can see now within that tab we've got our sections and our various questions. Um, of course, there had to be more questions in here, they'd be listed down. And we've got our participant uh, responses. Um, so here is the full response. If I hover over it, it'll tell me uh, the entire detail that they provided to me. Um, I can also flip to show the scores. Um, and I think this is where we shall find that I have not currently scored them. So that's an action for me as a host to get on and do so. Yep, there we go. They're all not scored. So I will then go in and score these guys. We've got the instruction at the top on how to do it. Uh, click on this name. And that drills into their particular response. And then when I'm looking at that response, I can give some scores to the various answers. So here we have our, our first section, the quality capabilities. We've got an 80% weighting on this section. Um, what are the quality procedures? And we've got 100% importance on that particular question. So had we more questions in here, we might want to adjust how important each question is. And here's the answer they gave. So if I click score, I might want to score this response. So uh, <laughs> if that had been sense to me, that particular answer, I might say, yep, yeah, okay, these guys are quite good. I'll give them 8 out of 10 for that populate in the score and that will work out all the weightings and the various assessments and when that's done we can see the scores here uh, so we've got 8 out of 10 translates to 8 out of 10 for the, uh, the weighted score and then taking into the 80% uh, weighting here it translates to 6.4 out of 8 for that particular section and here we've got section 2 so I'll give them a quick score for there uh, again, this, this might be, mean something to me, so I'll give them a score of 6 out of 10, and I'll save that. And that's now scored. And we can see, overall then, this supplier got a score of 7.6 out of 10, taking into account all the weightings uh, and everything else. Um, I can then flip to the other one, another supplier, so number 2 here, and I can do the same thing. Um, so I can whip through and score all these different guys. Superb. So coming back to our summary then, um, we can now see that all three suppliers have been scored and we can see now who is the best overall. So this guy here, 7.6, then we've got 7.2 and a 4.6. So we've assessed all of these guys on their uh, non-price uh, factors such as quality, technical performance, service levels, account management and so on. Um, so the only other thing to do really is to have a look at their bids and then compare those. Uh, so we'll come to that very shortly. Many thanks for listening.